the nicest thing about self-improvement is probably the fact that I'm no longer plagued by a screen addiction. And I feel like this is what so many people are struggling with because the algorithm and the technology that they're developing for us to get more addicted, it's like, bro, that shit is hard to, to combat. And when I walk around in public and I see like all these advertisements of like a new movie or some kind of like new like TV show or something, I could not give a flying fuck. I don't follow TV shows. I don't follow the news. I don't keep up with the modern media. You know, it was interesting. I saw a bus with a poster for a Hunger Games movie. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And I thought, I've already, I've already read the book. <laughs> yeah, it was a good book. <laughs> but I don't think they casted the people right. So maybe I'll go see it. Maybe I won't. I think it's like a three hour movie. But the point is, man. I'm at the point where I literally, I don't really even struggle like if i am struggling it's just for a short amount of time like i literally don't spend time on instagram or snapchat be real tiktok tiktok's the worst and i'm not saying this to be like arrogant i'm not trying to like put anyone down i'm just trying to say like man i'm fucking grateful i'm so fucking grateful to be at this point where you know, my attention span is good enough to, like, actually focus to, like, a video like this for, like, half an hour. Like, maybe your attention span is wavering because maybe my my own attention when I'm talking isn't actually that good. I think because it's the end of the day, like, my, my brain is tired. It's kind of hard to, like, concentrate when you're tired, man. <laughs> Give me a break. But I just mean, like... My overall attention span is pretty fucking good, okay? And I'm quite proud of it. And I've spent a lot of time cultivating this shit and protecting it and making sure that it gets better whenever I can. And I just feel pity for people. Like, the 16-year-olds, the high schoolers, like, these days. Even the 12-year-olds, bro, the, the fucking children. The children, bro. Every fucking time, bro, there are, there's a family that comes into my restaurant. Almost every single time, each child has got a laptop. Well, not a laptop, but like a, a tablet and a phone. And they've got their ear, earphones in. And yeah, like sometimes they'll just be watching like a harmless cartoon. But it's like they're just sitting there silent, focused on their screen. And they're like four years old, bro. That's the worst part. Bro. My ex's stepbrother is like eight years old. And he's already addicted to Fortnite. And YouTube shorts. His attention span fucking sucks. He can't even like hold a conversation for more than ten seconds. And he's struggling in school already. And... That's just from, like, the screens, right? But imagine, like, the younger you get, the worse the screen is going to get. Like, because the thing is, like, the younger you start, okay, obviously that's going to alter your brain even worse. Because, like, fuck, imagine how bad it is for a four-year-old to be seeing, like, these weird screens and have these, like, weird people on the internet tell them weird things. It's like, you're four years old. Protect your children, okay? But also, like, it's not only that, but because they're young... They have, like, this new generation of technology. They have, like, the enhanced algorithms that are more addictive than what I was used to. They have these, like, like, ten times, hundred times more stimulating kind of video games. Like, they are going to go through some fucked up shit when it comes to this screen addiction shit. Because, like, it's not even just about, like, the adults of our time because at least like if you're 25 and older then your brain is already developed so you're you're good off you're you're fine 
like you're not like you could get addicted but like it's probably not going to be like a massive problem in your life unless like you've let let it get really bad sorry i feel like i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> just got like this weird sneezy feeling in my nose but yeah if you're over 25 like it's probably not going to be that bad unless you get it let it get that bad because when you're 25 that's when the brain like stops developing and when those like neural connections stop happening as fast so you don't like learn things so actually um someone actually told me like you should start like learning as much as possible while you're while you're young and uh, i completely agree i'm probably gonna go like try and learn like a new language or something um but but yeah um get off the screens i gotta go okay i love you man oh. there's one more point i want to make so i'm sorry about lying i didn't actually have to go before um but there's one more point i want to make and it's that the kind of content that most people consume is really fucked like i was just thinking about this the other day if i wanted to really grow my channel and and grow my audience then i'd have to completely go against the kind of content that i've been creating which is literally just me sitting in front of a camera talking to you like you're a real person there's no like stimulating action there's no like subtitles on the fucking screen there's no like like fast-paced music and you know there's there's none of that like hyper stimulating shit like i want this shit to stay calm maybe sometimes there's subtitles maybe sometimes i put pictures on the screen maybe sometimes i make it a little bit more edited but that's still not stimulating enough for those motherfuckers with a, an attention span of 0 0.2 seconds okay when we think of attention spans it's like bro it's not just <sighs> because right you've probably heard of this before we live in an in attention economy and so me as a little content creator it's important for me to understand that me capturing your attention is valuable it's worth money and so when every content creator knows this they're all competing to be more captivating they edit their videos more they stimulate the user even more it's like bro i know for a fact that if i were to watch like one of those like generic kind of youtube videos where it's like super hyper stimulating i know for a fact like just five minutes of watching it my brain would be all fuzzed out i you'd probably see like smoke coming out my ears or something bro like it's not good and it's just because like it's a bad cycle you know because the user with the bad attention span because they have an attention span like shit they can't pay attention to anything else so they end up watching like the the brain dead short form attention grabbing content and that makes their attention worse because it's so stimulating and then they just keep going the cycle over and over. That's why TikTok is so dangerous, man. Because it's so addictive. It could really fuck up your attention span. Like, could, like if you're struggling in school or, or work or like struggling to like actually sit down and, and have a conversation with someone. Like maybe it's not that bad where you, you can like talk to people. But maybe like you're often like mind wandering. Like, like you might be talking to someone and just suddenly like you start thinking about like what you did in high school six years ago or something and you know we're all like guilty of that but like it the more it happens like the more you realize like it's a problem that you need to fix you know what fixes that whole thing is getting rid of it get rid of the social media and spend your time with less stimulating products or products like hobbies i mean <laughs> or produce your own produce your own shit man like write a book you know if you enjoy writing why don't know why not try and write a book or just write write some shit poetry <sighs> for me i spend my time with very unstimulating products product why do i keep saying products unstimulating hobbies there's the deep work that i do there's recording these videos i don't even edit them sometimes i do though that's a bit stimulating because then it's like i have to go and like choose like what song i'm gonna put on the video and then like what pictures i'm gonna do so it's like kind of like fun to edit the videos but it's like at the same time like it's a long hassle and it's just not worth my effort at the moment um 
which is you know probably shouldn't say that on a youtube video you know <laughs> oh, I, bro i'm gonna be like the most shittiest youtuber ever but like whatever it's fine <laughs> i'm just a person man i'm not supposed to be like a youtuber like bro it's not just those generics generic like youtube channels that are stimulating as fuck but it's also like the youtubers who have like that specific personality where they're like hey guys today we're unboxing the blah, blah, blah. like fucking hell dude shut the fuck up <laughs> that was like the old youtube though so i hope that like that that stuff goes away because it really hurts my brain and i don't want your brain to hurt either i hope like with these like calming more videos like they're they're more relaxing for you and it's just kind of like background noise to just listen to someone else talk so i know for a fact like I know I would, <laughs> I know I would probably listen to my own videos just in the background, but, you know, <sighs> but yeah, that's um all I really have to say, so have a good one.